Ooh, there's a box truck over here, too. Nice. What do you got for me? A lot of things. You can keep that. Cactus shifter and the wire replacement. Okay. Hello? Resource. Neon Reef. At first I thought I was seeing things after, well, you know, after that incident when so many of us saw things and then they promptly told us to never talk about it. I figured this was just another hallucination, something I shouldn't log or report, like how we don't talk about the things that chase us, or the files at Red Meadow, or the weird weather, or... I know, I'm getting off topic. Point is, whatever that stuff is, it both responds to and seems to create light. I think we're looking at something similar to glowing algae, similar to those, uh, dino flagellates. I've got some notes here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this material is infused with neon. No, that can't be right. Anyway, my point is that I think we could actually use some of the stuff that I'd really like to talk to Dr. Turner about this, but her office isn't taking calls. Thermal vacuum. You want the thermal vacuum specifically. Inventory full. Oh, inventory full. Yeah, you're right. Uh, hold on. Blue paint. <laughs> hey, there we, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't know when that yellow storm is here, but soon, I think. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, I still got a minute. Swamp Coral! Nice. Bioluminescence is perfectly normal, they say. It's found throughout nature, they say. So why does this light reactive substance still feel so unnerving? Who don't know. Just bonky here. Does that, does that work? Does that do anything for you? Okay, I mean, failing that, I can also just, like, smash you with a floodlight from my car. I mean, if you want to react to light, oh, 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 God, do I have a solution for you. So that's what we're looking for with that, though. This is good news. Why, why are you on? Stop. Stop. Slow. That's just, you know, for science. Okay. I'm not seeing it grow anything. So the other vacuum is going to be really cool for that because it. Oof. Because <sighs> it also hits it with light as it vacuums, right? So. Just saves you a bit of time, but it's nice that I can do it my own special way, if necessary. I'd like to see if I can find another one and hit it with the floodlights, just to see how effective that is. Is that another one over there? I can't quite tell, like, what's just wood and what isn't. Are you a swamp coral? I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes you bloom. That works. 
Hoot. Yeah, okay, I just gotta smash you with that for a little bit, too. Cool. I like things like that, where it's just like, I just need light. I don't care what it is or where it's from. I don't care how you manage it. Just do it. I like that. It's not specifically like, I only activate when you hold E on me with this tool out, and then it like goes through some wild animation. Mm, but that's what they're looking like. How much have I gotten? 21. That's at least just on me. And sort of way. Uh, none? Great. So 21, huh? <clears throat> I need like 200 of it? Yeah, alright, I'm sorry. Ow. Ow. Hey, my fuel again. Outstanding. That was empty, right? Yeah, we're empty with that. So, the next can. I did not think I would need... I thought I was being a little bit extra, bringing the extra big gas can, but I'm really glad I did now. Like, even, even that's not quite enough. I feel like I would want a third one. Huh. All right. Well, let's get out of here because the, the anchors are like up over this hill and like the mountains. Uh, there's not much hope getting there. We would have wanted to go that way when we enter the zone, it looks like, and then run downhill. Out. 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 <laughs> okay. So then we could head into the Myers over there, but we're gonna head into here. Still unstable energy, we need 3,000 limb, easy peasy, perpetual stability though, so we can spend a good amount of time running around, being a little bit thorough, looting up the swamp coral and olives, and just be a bit more thorough in a nice safe environment, on top of whatever they want us to do for the quest. Are you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. Mm -hmm. you see them? Hey, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're gonna use this. My optical vasilizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it, it, it's been decades. And no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing them up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's gonna be a surprise for your birthday. Oh, I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your headset, driver. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> uh, what, what are you using the basilizer for? Ah, uh, no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Driver, get ready to feast your eyes on the visions. <laughs> Okay. I'm looking for olives. <laughs> or or coral. <laughs> either, either of those. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours... But she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like everyone else. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Arda wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. 
She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants and the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Okay. Ah, uh, 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 no spoilers. So anyway, I'm going to tell you generally about what we're doing here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's more than... That's more than I'm usually given. And you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to pull up to that thing a bit. I mostly came here for the... For the olives that are over there, but... No! No! Don't be like that! Alright, I'll be back. Get out. On foot. I'm getting these. I'm a bit radio uh, ra radiation resistant. I'm a bit radiation resistant, so it's not awful. I've been through worse. Uh, see, I'm good. Nothing a little bit of canned soup can't fix. Oh, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, <laughs> look at me babbling away, Francis. Uh, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just uh, I'd rather not. Mom, we talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. I, 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 not this time. Okay. Well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomena that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, some physical after effects. How did you explain it? It was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo-jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And what a better time than now to try it again! I'm glad the acid stuff goes away eventually. I was pretty sure it did, because I remember it receding once upon a time and... I never came back when I drove back by, so... I think we're kind of just following the water for coral, right? Like, I haven't seen any outside of the water at all. Pickpocket. I wonder what that does. Uh, deliberately luring them with any kind of bait only makes them both more accustomed and more persistent. At this point, we've lost literally millions of dollars in valuable parts and equipment. Colonel being carried away in his porta potty is simply another symptom of lax discipline and disregard for the potential dangers of the zone. Right. And this little guy. Flare is always the answer. Ball, 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 ball. Hey, don't come to me with it. Yet, 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 dork. Right, so I'm just gonna stay away from them generally, because I think they're just gonna hoover up my gear and equipment and just suck it up, and then it's just gone forever. I could maybe use a liberator on it to destroy it and maybe get my stuff back, but I can't tell if my flare 
or not the flare, my explosive charge to the Liberator when I hit, 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 shot at the abductor. It, it looked a little bit like it just went through. Oh. We're acid here, are we? Okay, hold on. Well, I'm glad they're still here, I guess. It's almost like home. I just want the deposit box. Oh, bubblegum blah. Bubblegum buddy. Hi there, Dr. Cook. This is Tobias Barlow from Maintenance. Think I know why your field equipment is missing and uh, you're not gonna like it. We had a bunch of the folks doing requisition and inventory have been losing gear too, but also finding it again later in different areas of the zone. We thought we lost some to some high winds to some, you know, scrambling. But the weather's been pretty normal. Realized the zone hasn't had a tantrum in a while and did a kind of stake out. Things are like gooey fireflies or will-o'-the-wisps or something. They come out of the trees and kind of band together. They grab stuff like magpies and then pass it around like a football team. Okay. Did some sketches, took some numbers, repeated things. So this zone is all about making you lose stuff from what I can tell. Great. I feel really happy about having roof storage. Pickpockets and bubblegum goobers and yeah. although scanning bubblegum buddy we needed to do that to unlock something and there is the anti-theft backpack that we can uh I, I i guess try that out to be more resistant to or immune to i don't know man i don't want to lose my stuff I like my stuff. Bah. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, hi. It's unreliable though, watch out. Unreliable is not the first thing that comes to mind when I think of this guy. Look at this thing. Nice. That's a That's a big pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to crack that open. Excellent. The fog died down a bit. Uh, there's some trees with spots over there. Let's go check it out. I'm pretty sure that's just what this thing does. It's just messing with my... Uh, look. Electronics. Keep the light on it because I think they recede after a bit of time, right? That's what it seemed like they were doing. It took quite a while, but it happened. Again. This looks like an electrician kit problem, though. <laughs> oh, swollen, fixed none, charged, fixed none. Oh. Alright. Ow. You know what? Good riddance, honestly. That battery has been literally nothing but trouble this entire time. There, that's that's off now. We still have. It's still reading a problem with that that spot, but I don't. Just 
move you over, do a couple kicks on accident, because it's not F. You'd think it would be F. It's not. Okay. Get that off, get that off. Battery is 78 out of 80 now. That's fine. We're dinged up. Our back windshield needs a ceiling kit. So many ceiling kits I've used. Man. Not really what I expected, honestly. Although it's getting full? <laughs> I'm losing durability quite quickly. Ow. Alright. It's full. my flare gun actually like leave a flare behind by chance maybe will they go for the <clears throat> not sure what happened to them yeah it looks like it it's also a pickpocket over there man Uh, <laughs> a lot of wild things in here. There's those dudes who mess with your electricity, the pickpockets and bubblegum buddies who I imagine just yoink things from you if you're not paying attention. Uh, we've been here before. We're okay to like you around. I guess we can take a look at the one vision that's up there. He said to go to whichever one. I'm not sure if it actually matters or not. You might have to go to all three regardless. So we're here. A mural. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. Uh huh. Hey, uh, is it just me, or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. No, uh, something's... something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Looking a bit warbly, that paint. It's gone a bit liquid. You know, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. Where's my food? It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. 
But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. And you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? It doesn't add up. Artist's favorite pastime was conning people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash in the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. Sounds like a Twilight Zone episode. It's like the guy with the... Uh, who finally found time to read. All he wanted because he was like left alone. But then his glasses break, and he couldn't read anymore. <laughs> it's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep the light on these things, though. Confirmed. Which is a bit of a shame. And probably enough just to keep the headlights on them, honestly. But, <laughs> Oh. We got a nice little coral farm that's actually lit. But we also got a bubblegum thing over there. Oh, shoot. All right, let's see how that goes. I assume it's gonna just like yoink the uh, the tool out of my hand or something. Well, there's a there's a couple of them linking up right now. Yeah, there they go. They'll like do that, but with my gear, that'll be sad. Park here. Coupled with the light that it's already getting from the other side with the lamps. Yeah, because I don't know if like, if these have multiple nodes that I have to hit with light or what. Game, please. You threw crude doors at me, you broke one of them. Clears are always the answer. They're collecting just stuff. take this. I want to get that over there. I want that. Oop. It's going for it. Hey, the car door. You trapped that. You found something you want more. Is it the other car door? No, that's me. No. You can't have it. No. Ugh. You did take my vacuum, though. Here, have that. Can I have my vacuum back? You're breaking everything. <laughs> Knock it off. Ugh. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Outrageous. Those things are just a, they're just a harassment. They don't really take it and run off, it seems. That's a bit how it sounded like they were gonna act, but no. Nah. Just a nuisance. Yeah, that's looking alright. This is, like, a usable amount, finally. A little bit odd how they stack so high that the interface, like, lags moving them around. 
Let's, um... If I find any more olives, then cool, but otherwise I'm ready just to head up the murals and, uh... Be done with this place. Ah, the Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favorite! Did you see that, Francis? Oh Whoa. boy, oh boy, Francis, look, look, look. Uh, look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. Yeah, it's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius. It absolutely is. Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That shape right there, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... St. Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Okay. Oh, there's so much swamp coral there, though. But yeah. Okay. Oh, there's some here too. Oh! It's probably like meant to be around the murals, so you definitely get that at some uh, point. A driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable Lin tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Bigfoot itself! And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone! It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. Then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started. That didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the walls, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. And for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them. No question. Oh, come on, all eight at once? How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. Oh, that's scary. So about that last vision. Yep, I'm going on. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want to talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens and everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not from the sea. And once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and, and... No, 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 we're done here. Drive, if you see one, you stay away from it. That's all you need to know. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Inventory, please. Siphoning fuel from where I can because I'm a little nervous about it. 
Although I think there's a tanker up ahead along the road. I was hoping to bump into something like that. Kind of why I came up here. 